morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Travel Jack. I'm your host, Jack, and I'll be taking you around Europe for 29 days, checking out all the beautiful sights. And speaking of beautiful, we're waking up in the town of Fusen, Germany. And uh, wow, what a gorgeous surprise this was. Uh, not listed in my guidebook, but I decided to stay here because it's the closest uh, accommodation to uh, one of the bucket list items I've always wanted to see, New Schwanstein Castle. And uh, if you're not familiar with New Schwanstein, that is the castle that um, was the inspiration for Walt Disney to create his uh, Disney castles. That's the Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella Castle uh, located in the parks, uh, the theme, Disney theme parks. So we're going to be checking that out today. But not just that, it has its own fascinating history uh, with King Ludwig. And uh, King Ludwig was also known as the Fairy Tale King. Or it'd be uh, Swan King or also Mad King Ludwig, uh, they called him. So lots of nicknames for him uh, with a fascinating history. Uh, he was uh, friends with um, the opera composer Richard Wagner. So um, anyway, well, I'm sure we'll dive more into that as we get into the day. But um, I'll be touring uh, two castles there. There's the, the main castle, New Schwanstein. There's also a castle uh, on the hill next to it called in Schwangau, if I'm saying that right. And that was where uh, King Ludwig grew up. And that was his childhood castle. And he decided he wanted to build his own castle kind of on the hill next to it. So we'll go look at that and um, uh, get the day started. I'm moving a little bit slow today. Yesterday was a very long day. Uh, I went to Dachau. We did a lot of traveling. But uh, I took a tumble. I took a fall on the gravel and face planted. My lip is still a little bit swollen, but it's getting better. And, uh, but you can see I've got uh, some battle scars here on both hands, and my knee is scraped up too. Uh, but and I, mostly I'm just sore. I'm okay. I'll be fine. But I'm moving a little bit slow today. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll power through it. Uh, it did snow overnight, and if you watched last night's vlog, it was beautiful down here in the town of Fusen. And it's just on the, on the uh, foothills kind of, uh, of where the castles are. So um, first we're going to grab breakfast, and then we're going to head over to the train station. That's where the buses depart. Oh, by the way, uh, the hotel gave me these passes called the Fusen card, and uh, this gives me free use of the uh, buses that go to and from the castles. So that's really nice, really nice hotel here. I'm really enjoying uh, my stay here in Fusen, Germany. So anyway, let's go grab a breakfast. Uh, not included, by the way, with the cost of the room, but the room was so cheap. We'll get into that a little bit later. The room was so affordable, uh, it's okay to pay for breakfast. So anyway, let's head down to breakfast. The restaurant looks really nice. I can't wait to check this out. All right, really nice setup here. So you got all your jams, jellies, Nutella, uh, cereals here. It's amazing. Look at that. Scrambled eggs, beautiful. Eggs. Milk, juice. It's got mint. Is it mint? Mint and orange? There's two different ones. I want to say that's orange juice, maybe apple. Is that cheese? I might get a piece of that. Pastries. Wow. Okay, fruit, yogurt. What is this? Labor worst. I have no idea what that is. The cream cheese there. Oh, look at this. Hello, good morning. All right, I'll show you a little bit of this restaurant. I can't show you too much because there's people in here too, but uh, this is kind of my side. That's where the buffet is over there. And uh, it's a beautiful restaurant. The window's over here. Wow. So anyway, the rest of the restaurant looks pretty similar to that, but the buffet is over there. And let me show you what I got to eat. So I got a latte macchiato here, which seems to be popular in uh, 
You're up here. I think that's orange juice. There are two orange uh, drinks. I'm not sure which one was which, but uh, I took a guess. I got some of this sausage and bacon. It looks amazing. I'm guessing that's cheese. I got a tiny little sliver just in case I don't like it. I'm not sure what it is. It's donut scrambled eggs. To start, we'll see where we go from there. I don't think that's all our shoes. It's like a mango or something or other? I don't know what that is. I guess the other one was the orange shoes. <laughs> It's good though. I think that's cheese. I don't, I'm not sure what it is. If it was cheesecake, that would be amazing, but <laughs> I don't think they'd serve that for breakfast. Wow, it's sweet. It's not it's not cheesecake, but it is some kind of cheese. I don't know what it is, but it's very, very good. Very sweet. I'm not sure what the crust is. Mm. It's very good. I think there's cheese in there too. Very good. Very good. You have two kinds of sausage. This one's more kind of a reddish color. I do love sausage. I like bacon. I always love bacon. Oh, they got such a big spread. They also got the kind of the meats and cheeses. I'm a hot breakfast kind of guy. I like, I like my scrambled eggs and sausage and orange juice. And, uh, anyway, I wanted to try some of these pastries too. These look really good. Mm. Wow. It's very fresh, crispy on the outside. And Soft on the inside. Wow, just perfect. And we got, um, I don't know what this is. That must be chocolate in there, I guess. Excellent. So we're going to finish up with breakfast here, and then we'll head on down and catch the bus up to the New Schwanstein Castles and get our day started.
feel like Ralphie on Christmas morning where he wakes up and he opens the window and everything's covered in snow and he goes, looks out the window and goes, wow, that's me right now. <laughs> it's snowing. It, it's not supposed to be snowing today. It snowed overnight. I don't think it'll last, but uh, look at this. Wow, this is this is awesome. So, as you can see, it's plenty cold today. <laughs> the high temperature today, the warmest it's going to get, 28 degrees Fahrenheit. That's below freezing, and uh, the low is going to be 18 degrees tonight. So, uh, it's not supposed to snow today. There's a very small chance, but it's snowing at least right now. It might clear up a little bit later, but uh, just beautiful. All right, let's get to the bus. Okay, this is the bus stop. I wait for the 78, or I think the 73 as well goes to the castles. This bus might go to the castles too, I'm not sure. But uh, we'll find out soon enough. Anyway, of course, it's uh, extreme cold weather. I got these awesome ski gloves to help keep me warm today so uh yeah just waiting for the bus and we'll i think it's only an eight minute bus ride up to the, where the castles are so uh it should be pretty spectacular when we get there okay we're on board the bus uh, about to head off to the castles there's two castles up there hohenschwangau and of course new schwanstein bucket list item for me always wanted to see this place and uh I'm about to do it. It's going to be awesome. Uh, it should be a beautiful bus ride up there, about eight minute bus ride. And then uh, I'm going to tour the inside of both castles. Unfortunately, they don't allow filming on the inside of the castles, but there's still plenty to show you and plenty to uh, see when we get up there. So let's enjoy the scenery on the way up to New Schwanstein and Hohenschwangau castles. Let's check it out.
Okay, so before I left for the trip, I printed out this map and it shows me all kinds of different walking routes. And um, so Ho and Schwangau should be out of frame behind this building. But to get there, this is the road the bus dropped me off on. And I think if I just follow this road, it should take me pretty much straight to, it kind of curves around, but it should take me straight to uh, Schloss Hohenschwangau. Am I saying that right, by the way? God, what a view. Oh, wow. Um, if I'm not saying that right, uh, let me know in the comments. I don't know. Hohenschwangau. But anyway, it should be about a half hour walk from here. Uh, there is a shorter route. It looks like it branches off to the right, probably a steeper path or a staircase or something. But uh, I'm going to take the longer route this time. Coming back, we'll take the shorter way uh, just to get uh, all the views that we can see of all the castles. And this should be just breathtaking. Oh, look at that. So let's get walking to Hohenschwangau. And we got a tour scheduled at 11.05.
Wow, it is spectacular here. By the way, everything you've seen so far, uh, you don't need a ticket. You can just show up here and walk around the grounds and uh, you only need a ticket if you want to do the tour on the inside. Uh, but to come up here and actually see the outside of the castles, walk around, hike all around here and see the exteriors, don't need a ticket. You can just come out here and do it. And uh, I got these ski gloves and they're helping a lot. It is cold out here. <laughs> uh, as you can see, uh, I think it's God, 24 degrees or something like that right now. But um, anyway, uh, I'm going to take a few minutes just to walk around, do more photography. I did a round with the video, but I wanted to take some still photos as well. So I got about 20 minutes before my tour. So I'm going to just take a look around and do some photography. And uh, wow, spectacular. Okay, it's about time for my tour. And again, they don't allow filming or photography inside. So uh, after the tour, I'll let you know uh, my thoughts and opinions, what it was like. And we'll see you after the tour at this beautiful castle, Hohenschwangau. It's beautiful out here. All right, just got out of the castle tour and just a fascinating look at uh, the history of this place. And uh, it was actually... Uh, an old castle. It's been here since the uh, 12th century originally, um, and it was uh, largely damaged by, uh, by the French during a war and sat uh, pretty much abandoned and in ruins until uh, 1830. And King Maximilian II uh, discovered the ruins of the castle and decided he uh, was going to rebuild it into what you see today. And uh, he lived there, him and the queen, I think her, uh, I forget her name, but the queen, there's so much uh, facts and information, I can't remember everything. Um, but uh, so the king lived here, uh, had two sons, Otto and Ludwig. And Ludwig went on to be King Ludwig II and decided to build his own castle, which is Castle uh, uh, New Schwanstein, which you're going to tour next. Uh, but he grew up here in this castle. And uh, but anyway, we got to go on the tour and just a fascinating look. We started in the billiards room. The, the actual billiards are made out of ivory. And oh, by the way, inside the castle, it's all fully furnished, uh, just as it was in the 1800s. And uh, uh, paintings and sculptures and murals are inside the building in just pristine condition. Signs everywhere, do not touch, do not touch anything in there. And um, you're, you're taken around by a tour guide. And just a fascinating look. And so you go into the billiards room. There's a writing room. Um, you see the bedrooms of the king and the queen. And you see uh, King Ludwig's childhood room, which he had painted the ceiling uh, as a nighttime uh, sort of ceiling portrait, ceiling mural with stars uh, in the ceiling that could be illuminated from above, from the next story above. He could light lanterns that would illuminate the stars in the ceiling of his bedroom. It was really cool to see that. They didn't uh, like illuminate it, but it was really cool to have a look at it and kind of see how it worked. Each of the rooms had these little um, um, stoves that would uh, provide the heating. And uh, there were wood burning stoves. The servants would come in and out of the castle, not through, uh, not in the castle, but they would actually, uh, there'd be secret corridors inside the walls and that was to help keep the floors clean and stuff. But they, they'd go in, in through the secret corridors in the wall and they would put the wood in the furnaces and light them in the furnaces, which is fascinating. Um, but uh, interesting fact of this castle and many others like it, 
uh, have secret quarters like that where the servants would, would uh, kind of move through the walls. And uh, so anything that, uh, that was said in the castle, the servants could hear through the walls. And thus the expression was born uh, that uh, the walls have ears. Uh, that's where it came from, from castles like this. So just fascinating. Uh, we also saw a guest bedroom where Richard Wagner slept and Hans Christian Andersen, the uh, author of The Little Mermaid, uh, slept here. So uh, a lot of interesting facts and uh, just a gorgeous interior. Uh, I wish I could photograph it and video it, but they don't allow it. Uh, but uh, really neat tours, about half an hour long or so. And uh, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, they've got, uh, oh gosh, stuff that it's made from solid silver and um, diamonds and gifts from different kings. And uh, it's just a lot of stuff in there to look at and a lot of facts and history. Uh, Hohenschwangau, just beautiful. Wow, that was worth the price of admission. Anyway, uh, next we got a, another tour at uh, the next castle. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we gotta hike back over there. And I think we got a couple hours before that, but um, I have to look to see my schedule and see what's going on. Uh, I think we're going to grab lunch before the next tour. But uh, anyway, let's do some more sightseeing, some more walking around in this beautiful Bavarian mountains. Hohenschwangau and New Schwanstein castles right here. Beautiful. Okay, I think this doorway is the shorter path down to where the kind of where the bus dropped us off. And then from there we go up the hill to the other castle. So from here to the where the bus dropped us off should be about 20 minutes going this way, about 10 minutes shorter than the than the other one. So let's check out uh, if we have any different views along the way down this path. Let's check it out.
That looks neat, a uh, little horse-drawn carriage. We'll take you up to the Neuschwanstein Castle. And uh, it looks neat, but from, from the looks of it, you sit on the inside and you've got, because of the snow and everything, but you got this little uh, coverings on the side and over the top. It looks like your view would be kind of uh, obstructed a little bit riding that. I was gonna hike up and then maybe ride this down. But I think I'll walk the whole way just to get better views. But uh, if you don't wanna walk, it's a 40 minute uphill walk to the castle. If you don't want to do that, you can pay, I think it's eight euros to ride this all the way to the uh, castle. So anyway, let's uh, get started. I just go follow the same road right up and that goes up to Schwanstein. It's up there somewhere. Anyway, let's get started. 40 minute walk. Hello. Hello. <laughs> There it is, wow. What a moment. Walt Disney's castle right here. Uh, New Schwanstein, Mad King Ludwig, the fairy tale king, the swan king. And somewhere I've wanted to see my entire life. And we find him.
finally made it. Here we are. Whew. Oh man. <laughs> what a wuss. Look at this guy. He's all balling. What a wuss. <laughs> anyway, it's a lifelong dream of mine to come see this. So, uh, woo, it's, a, it's a little emotional for me. And, uh, just about as uh, beautiful as I could ever imagine. So. Anyway, we're not quite there yet. We still have a little ways to go. Got to go up a little bit more. And uh, I think there's a bistro or cafe up there in the castle, I think. And uh, we're going to have lunch up there. And uh, wow. Can't believe, can't believe I'm here. Anyway, uh, not quite there yet. A little more ways to go to get up there. And so uh, I stopped for a couple video shots and a couple photos. But I gotta stay warm. Cause it's below freezing out here. All right, let's uh, let's keep on going on our climb. Almost there. Do Schwanstein. This is absolutely breathtaking. And I'm here at this very popular photo spot, little kind of a overlook. And as you can see why, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. The new Schwanstein Castle right behind me, the beautiful mountains here and a waterfall close by. Wow. The sun's kind of in the exact wrong spot right now, but it is what it is. Look at that view. Wow. Anyway, uh, grab a couple photos. Also right behind me, uh, they don't allow bags or backpacks in the castle. So there's lockers here you, you can rent. So to put all your stuff in, so. Uh, Anyway, one last view here. 
and they're going to head up towards the castle and get some lunch before our tour. Our tour isn't until 3 o'clock, so we've got lots of times for photos and walking around sightseeing and stuff. So it's about, I think, 1 o'clock right now. So. All right, let's check it out. Good color. Okay, according to this map, there's a cafe that I wanted to eat at here before the tour, but apparently you only have access to it after the tour. You have to have a ticket to get in, do the tour, and it's past uh, the exit is over here. So I can't get into the cafe until I do the tour, but I want to eat now. So I guess there's another restaurant down this way. Uh, so we'll, we'll do a plan B. Something to eat. Let's find somewhere to eat. I think there's, he said there's a restaurant down here, like five minutes. All right, uh, for a plan B, I think this, I think this might even be better than what I, where I was planning to eat. So uh, it smells positively German in here. I can smell the sauerkraut. It smells amazing. I can't wait to try this food. But uh, I've heard about, before I came here, I've noticed, I've heard about this, like Europeans have slow service, not, not from what I've experienced. As soon as I sit down there, come over and get your drink order before I even have a chance to look at the menu. So. Uh, pretty quick to me. Uh, the only difference is when you're ready to pay, uh, their philosophy is they don't want to rush you. So you have to get their attention and ask for the bill. But other than that, the service has been fine it's from my experience so far. Uh, in the Netherlands and Germany, it's been, yeah, it's been great. So uh, anyway, I ordered a wheat beer. Should be here in a moment. But, uh, let's take a look at the menu here. Looks amazing. Schlob Restaurant to New Schwanstein. And look at the view I have. Wow. Looks like a nicer weather. They have outdoor seating too. But. Uh, Worstel Parade. <laughs> so they got your uh, Frankfurters, wieners basically, fried sausage as well. Prices are very reasonable. This is a currywurst. I had the, a currywurst at, uh, at the uh, Dachau uh, Cafe. 
We got pasta. I don't know. I feel like I'll have a lot of pasta in Italy, but I'm in Germany. I want something. I've heard of this fresh knuckle of pork. I, I heard this is a great thing. I don't know that I want to try that though. Okay, we got pork steak. I try to avoid pork these days. Uh, Hanch and schnitzel. Fried breast of chicken. Fries. Wiener schnitzel of pork. Sort of French fries. There's, that's your wiener. That's a real wiener schnitzel. Not hot dogs. Okay, the waiter recommended schnitzel over the sausages, and I asked him between the chicken and the pork, he recommended the pork, so I'm going to go with what he said. Uh, Schwein, Schweine schnitzel, Wiener Art, mit Palm Frit, French fries. Wiener schnitzel pork with French fries. So this is what we're getting, and then afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, apple strudel. I feel like it's going to be more authentic than the one at the uh, museum the other day. So we'll compare. We'll see which one was better. All right, here's my Weizen wheat beer. Cheers, everybody. Prost. I don't know how you say it in German. Is it Prost in German? I don't know. But cheers to everybody at watching. Oh, that's good. Oh, very good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> good. <laughs> Great aftertaste. Goes down smooth, and then the aftertaste hits you. Oh, it's wonderful. Very good. Wow. I love wheat beer. Very good. Wunderbar. <laughs> <laughs> this looks great. <laughs> There we go. I mean, it's good. It's very good. It's not blowing me away or nothing unexpected or surprising, but it's it's good. It's delicious. It's very fresh. The, the beer is amazing, but anyway, this is going to be a good lunch. It goes really well with the beer. All right, well, I'll get back to you when I get dessert. But anyway, here's our apple strudel. It comes with, I chose the vanilla ice cream instead of the vanilla sauce this time. And it, look, comes with a, like a wafer. It's really good. Anyway, we're gonna try this in just a second. After I finish my beer, of course. So already it's much more like, how would they describe it, tender, soft, not quite as uh, firm as, as the other one. Mm. That is night and day from, from the Dachau Cafe. That is excellent. Wow. That's the apple strudel experience I was looking for. 
that I wanted in Rotenberg. Everything was closed. Anyway, excellent, fantastic. Wow. Okay, that meal was spectacular. The schnitzel wasn't anything to write home about. I mean, it was good. I'm not saying it wasn't good. It was very tasty and fresh, but uh, it was about what I expect for schnitzel. But uh, the star of the show was, for, well, the Weizen beer is amazing. I love a good Weizen beer. But that apple strudel, oh my goodness. The apple strudel was amazing. So good lunch here at this restaurant. I don't even know the name of it. Schloss with... <laughs> Forgive me, please. <laughs> Schloss Wirtschaft. Maybe. I don't know. Here, I'll show you right here. This is this is the restaurant. It's five minutes down the hill from uh, New Schwanstein Castle. So, Anyway, speaking of uh, New Schwanstein, it's almost time for the tour. And once again, uh, not allowed to film or photograph the inside of it. But uh, if you come out here, you can hike up here and walk around and all the, all the stuff I've shown you on this video, you can do it for free. You don't need a ticket. Just come out here and show up and check it out. Uh, if you're in the area, there it is behind me. Wow. Wow. Uh, so you can just come out to this area and check it out for free. You don't need a ticket or anything. Uh, the only thing you need a ticket for is if you want to tour the inside. So anyway, I'm about to do that. And uh, so like I said, I can't film or video the inside of it. So I'll catch up with you after the tour and let you know what I think. I've heard mixed reviews. Some people like it and some people have been disappointed with it. The other castle I thought was great. So we'll see if this one uh, is also great. But uh, the outside, of course, is spectacular. But All right, I'll let you know after the tour. In just a few minutes. New Schwanstein Castle. And what I can bring you is uh, some shots of the spectacular courtyard where we come in just before the tour starts. Wow. All right, up there, Rapunzel. <laughs> I forgot to bring my glass slipper. Okay, just finished the uh, castle tour and pretty spectacular. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of the rooms are bare because um, not a lot of furnishings or anything in there. <laughs> not a lot of furnishings are in there because uh, King Ludwig passed away before the castle was finished. He did live here for about a year or so, or actually less than a year, about half a year. Uh, so there are some things in there to see. Um, you can see his bedroom uh, and some servant quarters. Downstairs, there's a kitchen where they would uh, prepare food and stuff like that. 
uh, but uh, a lot of the rooms are pretty empty with uh, with no furnishings at all. But that doesn't mean there's nothing to see. There's um, lots of artwork and uh, spectacular things on the wall and um, paintings. And uh, my favorite room was the throne room. They have this giant chandelier that could be lowered down. And it had, I think he said there's 96 candles on there. So they could lower it down, light all the candles by hand, and then raise the chandelier back up. But a lot of it was never um, used or completed. Um, so the chandelier's there. He said maybe they used it once. Um, but the, they never even had the throne completed. So... Uh, there's a giant space, you go up the stairs and there's a space where there should be a throne where for him to sit on, but there's no throne there. It's just an empty space. So I can see why people would be disappointed, uh, because, uh, most of the rooms are pretty bare in there, but I wasn't disappointed. Um, but definitely I do agree. The other, the better tour is the other castle. Uh, that one was spectacular. This one was good to see. I mean, I, I would recommend it still. But I could, I could see why people were like, well, there's nothing to look at, really. But there, the, there's paintings, the chandeliers, and uh, it's, it's interesting, the construction of the castle, too. This is a newer castle. I think uh, uh, the, they constructed uh, the castle starting in 1869. The King Ludwig died, I think they said 1884, something like that. So it's not that old of a cat for ca as far as castles go. And um, But anyway, sp uh, special history. Um, very fascinating, and his friendship with Richard Wagner and the operas um, are, are pretty interesting. And the mysterious death, uh, he was taking a walk, I think, with his psychiatrist, and they both were found dead by the lake down there, and uh, nobody knows why or what happened. Uh, there's speculation about what happened, and uh, but anyway, nobody knows for sure. So, uh, Mad King Ludwig. Uh, and his famous New Schwanstein Castle. One thing I learned I didn't know before, this is one of three castles he built. There's two other castles out there. I didn't even know that. So uh, anyway, spectacular. I did stop by the gift shop, buy a few things. Uh, when we get back to the hotel room, I'll show you what those are. Um, I wanted to go by that bridge. There's a bridge with a spectacular view of the castle and everything like that. But there's signs up that say it's closed. And uh, for maintenance... But I think they close it because it's snowy and icy, and they probably close it every winter. Uh, so can't get over to the bridge. But uh, I got a shot of the bridge uh, from the castle, from the courtyard. And also, uh, there's a balcony out there that I got some special shots from uh, with some great scenery from the uh, high up there. Boy, you, you're really high up there when you climb up all those stairs. But anyway, um, so th that was the last thing I was going to do is go check out that bridge, but it's closed. So that's going to wrap up our visit here to New Schwanstein. And wow, what a special day. And uh, we're going to head back down. It's about a 40-minute walk back down to where the buses are. And we'll go back to the hotel. And then we're going to have dinner at the hotel tonight and check out uh, the restaurant. It's a different place than where the breakfast was. So we'll check out uh, uh, the hotel restaurant for dinner. And then we'll wrap up the video. New Schwanstein, what a special place. Beautiful. Wow. Bucket list. Check. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, let's head back to the bus. We're like, we would do, like, and then they would do a lot of stuff where they like, pull jokes on you. All right, that was a spectacular visit to New Schwanstein Castle. Boy, it's beautiful out there. And uh, I'm just going to squeeze the heater. It was cold out there, though. But uh, spectacular. Man, bucket list item come true. Check it off the list. Wow, that was just beautiful. That was a beautiful visit. The only thing I didn't get to see was the bridge. I mean, we got to see the bridge. I didn't go on it. It's called Mary's Bridge, and it has a spectacular view of the castle up there on the bridge, but I don't think it's open in the wintertime. Anyway, I think I'm going to keep this hoodie on when we go downstairs for dinner. Anyway, I did buy some souvenirs. Let me show you what I got. 
All right, first I got this uh, nice little uh, picture book. It's got photos and the history of uh, New Schwanstein Castle and pictures of everything that's in the castle, which is cool because I was not allowed to photograph or video inside. But it kind of shows you what's in there. As you can see, it's very beautiful. There's not a lot of furnishings in there. But uh, pretty cool little picture book. That's the throne room I was talking about. There's this huge chandelier in the middle. It's just beautiful with all the candles on it. And then the throne is supposed to be right there, but they never built the throne because King Ludwig died before they finished the castle and they never got around to building the throne. So there it is. But that was my favorite room in the whole castle, the throne room, the throne hall right there. Beautiful. So anyway, this is a nice souvenir. I also got a magnet. I decided to start a magnet collection on this trip. So I got a couple from Efteling. And this one. And not just flat magnet with a picture on it, but like a... I really like this one. And they had a few to choose from. One looked like a cuckoo clock, too. But I like this one the best. And then I got a little figurine. This will go in my display case. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic just yet, but uh, it's just a nice little figurine. It says New Schwanstein on it. Very nice. All right, let's talk about what things cost. All those souvenirs cost me uh, 31 euros 85. Not too bad at all. And um, the castle tours, for both of those castles together, I paid U.S. dollars, 41 dollars and 13 cents. That's not too bad at all for, uh, for, all, for, wow, that whole day today. That's a bargain. And then uh, while we're talking about prices, let's talk about this hotel I'm in. Uh, so I really like this hotel. It's a small room, but it uh, serves me just fine. I booked a single room, and, but I really like the decor in here and stuff. Uh, but what did I pay to stay here? For two nights, it was free, thanks to credit card rewards points. I mentioned that several times throughout this video, if you're interested in uh, learning about uh, credit card rewards points, how to travel for free, ho free hotels, things like that. For you can, it's easy to do, and, you, and it's for money you're already spending anyway. You can, can earn all bunch a bunch of free stuff, and a lot of the stuff on this trip is free thanks to the credit card that I use. So let me uh, just send me an email or put a comment in the comment section, and let me know you want to know something more about uh, credit card rewards points. I'm pointing in the right direction. There's, there's a variety of products out there where you can get started. You do have to have good, uh, decent credit to get started with that. But uh, even though it was free for me, uh, if I did pay for it for two nights, doesn't include breakfast, but for two nights in this hotel, it was only $88.06. Bargain. Now, the prices, I'm sure, fluctuate throughout the course of a year. Uh, this is the, the low season right now. So uh, I probably got a really good deal on this uh, hotel room, $44 a night U.S. Uh, wow, that's, that's good. So um, not including breakfast. I had to pay extra for breakfast and, uh, of course, dinner. I'm about to go down and have dinner. Speaking of which, I'm getting hungry. So let's head downstairs and check out the dinner restaurant, which is different than the breakfast buffet restaurant that we ate uh, earlier. The breakfast buffet restaurant is on the second floor. And... Uh, no, they call it the first floor here. The first, the second floor U.S. is the first floor in Europe. The ground floor, they call it the ground floor, and then you go up one to go to the first floor. So we're going to go to the, uh, the breakfast buffet was on the first floor, and the dinner restaurant is on the ground floor. So we're going to go down to the ground floor. I know, was that confusing? Anyway, we're going to go all the way down and have dinner and check out that restaurant. It looks really nice. So let's go check it out. Okay, I'm here in the uh, Ludwig's restaurant and uh, starting with the aperitif. And this is the Fusen Spritz. Look at that. Wow. This is going to be a nice fancy dinner. Uh, regional to uh, Bavaria and uh, the city of Fusen here. So this is going to be local food. And I'm really looking forward to it. Good. So I could have put a couple of shots of the uh, the drink and the um, 
the drink and the main course that I ordered. I also ordered a dessert. I didn't get a shot of it, but uh, he said it's local to uh, the region. And uh, it sounded a little bit to me like bread pudding. They said, no, it's not like bread pudding. It's, it's uh, a local dessert. So we'll find out what it is when it comes. But, uh, it's like Mm, it's good. It's got like a, a berries in there. Delicious. So if I give you, a, if I get a chance, I'll show you more of the decor in this restaurant. It's uh, I love the decor here. Uh, one of the ladies at the reception or earlier today told me she thinks it's a bit garish. It's a bit uh, loud. But uh, I like it. I enjoy it. And uh, I told her when I go to Italy, I saw some of the hotels there. They're pretty they're pretty out there, too. But uh, uh, there's a cool booth over there with some swans that I want to show you. But there's uh, there's people sitting there at the moment. But uh, maybe a little bit later, I can, I can show you a little bit of uh, the decor in the main restaurant downstairs. But uh, it's really nice here. I love it. Wow, that looks amazing. I don't even I don't know what this stuff is. Let's have a look. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm getting into here, but this is obviously red cabbage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's two like a little spice to that. Interesting. Wow, it's really good. And there's two little ball things. I'm not sure. I don't know what this is. One of these is potato, I think. God, it's interesting. I'm not sure what it is. And here's this like more yellowish one. Almost looks like applesauce. It tastes very similar. I'm not sure what it is, but it's pretty good. All right, they're very tender. Look at that. Oh my goodness. All right. Mm. That's really good. That's so tender. It's a lot like a roast beef with brown gravy. Very similar, but really tasty. Very good. Mm. And with dinner, I had to get myself a. Uh, Another Weissen beer. This looks good. I love these glasses. Oh, yeah. oh I asked the waiter um, what the, the little balls are on the plate. And um, the yellowish one, they're dumplings. The yellowish one is uh, potato, and the other one's a bread dumpling. They're really tasty. Wow, dessert just got here. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Wow, I don't know how I'm going to eat all this. This is crazy. Wow. <laughs> it looks kind of like bread pudding. The sauce is a little bit different. That's almost like applesauce. 
Oh, it's really good. Wow. It's kind of a, a, a breading thing. The sauce is like applesauce. And there's a, a little bit of powdered sugar on there. That's really good. I get a little bit of this. Good. Wow. That is surprisingly good, but yeah, that's definitely applesauce with. Um, I don't know how to describe how they make the prepare the breading, but it's uh, like pieces of bread with uh, powdered sugar on it, really, really soft, and it goes really good with the powder, with the applesauce. That is really good. Wow. So there's a few like um, like here and there raisins and nuts uh, along with the uh, bread and so I thought it was gonna be like bread pudding but this is completely different I mean it's bread don't get me wrong it's bread with powdered sugar on it though what and nuts and raisins and applesauce which um, normally I'm not a fan of applesauce but it goes so good with this bread it's amazing That is something completely different than I would normally ever order. And I love it so much. It's, uh, wow. I'm, I'm blown away about how much I, I love this dessert right now. These days, I typically try to avoid desserts uh, altogether, but this is so good. Wow. That dessert was amazing. Anyway, uh, this place is emptied out, so let me show you around. There's this really cool swan booth. I have to show you this swan booth. Check it out. There you have it, the swan booth for the swan king, King Ludwig. And if you check this out, the two swan heads make a heart. It's so cute, I love it here. Well, I am stuffed. <laughs> that dinner was amazing. Uh, so the final bill, including the tip, was 51 euros. A little on the pricey side, but uh, that's okay because last night I didn't even have dinner. I couldn't even find a vending machine anywhere. Uh, other than at the laundromat when I was doing laundry and uh, two nights ago the food was from a vending machine uh, and some desserts for dinner and things like that so uh, I was glad to finally experience uh, Bavarian uh, traditional Bavarian food and uh, the dessert especially was amazing and a fantastic really good uh, really good uh, meal and service and a great way to cap off my fantastic day today oh my gosh Complete opposite from yesterday when I was at Dachau and uh, fell on my face. And uh, you can see that uh, it still hurts a little bit. I was moving real slow today. And uh, this is from the other day. Uh, I was carrying my luggage and I scraped my knuckle along the side of a wall. So not going without my little boo-boos. Uh, but uh, man, today was a great day. So And... Uh, and I tried really hard and I was successful. All the snow and ice today, I didn't face plant again today. So <laughs> that's a that's a win in my book. So anyway, uh, tomorrow we're going to say Auf Wiedersehen to Deutschland and say ciao to Italia. We're going to Italy tomorrow, our third country of the trip. And uh, Venice is the destination tomorrow. From here, it's a very long trip. Uh, there's going to be two trains tomorrow from here to Munich, transfer to a train, and then from Munich, it's like seven or eight hours, but just one train, seven or eight hours.
down to Venice. And, but it'll be nice and relaxing. I can sit back and just really enjoy the trip. It's supposed to be, the actual train trip is supposed to be the, the, the destination for the day because um, it's a very scenic train ride uh, from what I understand. So it's called the uh, Euro City Brenner Pass. It goes through the Brenner Pass. It's supposed to be very scenic. So look forward to that in the next video. Um, and then when we get to Venice, we'll take uh, the Vaporetto. The uh, boat taxi, there's no roads in Venice. It's all the canals and waterways. So there's no cars, it's boats. So we'll take uh, Vaporetto, that's what they're called, the boats down to uh, where my hotel is. We'll have dinner and that'll be tomorrow's vlog uh, or the next video, I should say, the next vlog. Um, it's gonna be travel day from from here in uh, at New Schwanstein Castle, Fusen, Germany down to Venice, Italy. So that's going to be exciting. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I think that's all there is to say. What a great day today. And uh, one of my bucket list items checked off the list. Uh, fantastic new Schwanstein. All right, so there's just one more thing to say. Make sure you go out there and explore your world because I had a fantastic day today. And we'll see you in the next video.